welcome to crank your damn just to 11. Um, I had promised when I started this channel that I would sometimes have positive videos about products that I like. And as usual, uh, this is not going to be an unboxing video. I'm going to talk about my uh, Keychron K6 Bluetooth 5.1 wireless mechanical keyboard. That's a mouthful. Uh, I guess you can just call it Keycon, Keychron K6. Um, and I'm not going to do an unboxing or to tell you all the features of this thing. I'm talking to you as someone who's used it for a while. And um, I'm going to tell you what I like about it. And maybe a little bit of what I don't like. But th there's no major problem with it. Um, so I purchased the keyboard in September. Um, and the reason I purchased it is because I got tired of going down to the TV and having to input stuff and uh, with my old keyboard. I had a keyboard that I was using and I might as well just show it to you. Um, the, the, the top keyboard is the one that I was using and the bottom one is the new keyboard. So the top keyboard was really an old gaming keyboard where the LEDs uh, were no longer working. And that keyboard worked for a long, long time. And eventually I replaced it with a smaller keyboard, which you don't see the picture of. And I, just, I don't want to advertise it because it was a, a terrible keyboard that lasted, I think, three years. The keyboard at the top is over 10 years old. The keyboard I replaced it with worked maybe three years. And then I replaced that keyboard with another keyboard that I put on my desk. And now I have the small keyboard that you see under there uh, for tasks around the house. And I can also use it on my desk if I want to. Um, and this keyboard, um, let me come back there. Yep. This keyboard, has, you can use it wireless or wired. And I wanted wireless to help with some situations where I don't want to fiddle with a wire. Unfortunately, it didn't quite work the way I wanted. But this is not the fault of the keyboard. This is the, really the fault of the, all the technology around the keyboard. So the new keyboard is, I have it here. You can see it live. There it is. Um, the new keyboard is about 50% smaller than the other keyboard. It's a little bit more than 50%, but not by much. Um, and I can make it work wirelessly with my laptop, um, with my Chromebook. The Chromebook and the laptop are two different machines. The laptop is more of a work laptop, if you will, and the Chromebook is more for uh, fun. <laughs> um, I've got it to work with my phone also. Sometimes it's annoying on the phone. It can happen that it's going to ask for a password or for something. You need to type for a while. Uh, I find it more useful to use this thing than to try to enter a long text on the, on the phone. It doesn't happen very often anymore, but sometimes. Uh, I can use it wirelessly also with my Google TV device uh, in the living room. And I find that that's a nice uh, thing that the device does a lot. It does a lot of the things badly, but this thing it does well. It supports Bluetooth, so I can pair my keyboard with the Bluetooth uh, in the Google TV device. And it's useful, for again, for entering passwords, though oftentimes now the, company, the various companies don't ask you for a password there. They will say, go to this site and enter a code and then come back and enter the code in the screen. So it's like four or five letters instead of having to type a, a long password because I try to be safe. So, you know, I don't reuse passwords uh, on different sites and I use uh, that my passwords are all computer generated. So uh, I don't even know them. Um, so it works wirelessly with, yeah, I said the Chromebook, the laptop, the phone, my Google TV. Um, unfortunately, 
if I want to use it straight with the TV, I have to be cabled. And that's not a default of the keyboard. It's because our TVs, the one in the living room and the one in the entertainment room, they do not support uh, wireless communication. I think I can pair with them, but then it, it kind of falls apart that no data is transferred to the TV. Um, so in those cases, I have to use a cable to plug the the keyboard into the TV, but it's a much smaller keyboard. So, you know, the the desire of <laughs> reducing things and not having this huge thing to carry around, uh, it's uh, you know, it's it's fulfilled. So I can just plug it into the, the TV and control it that way. Useful for entering long passwords, and I use it also. Um, Again, with the cable, uh, with the servers downstairs. And the reason I have to use a cable with the servers downstairs is that the servers don't have Bluetooth um, native, for one thing. And I did buy a Bluetooth dongle and try to see if I could get it to work. And it does. No, it does work. You can get there. Uh, but you have to insert the dongle into the server. You have to go into the server and start the Bluetooth subsystem. It's a whole bunch of steps that I'm not very interested in doing. I could do them, but I don't want to. And it's kind of a little bit stupid because all the Bluetooth knowledge of what the machine is and what it does, and it's all stored on the machine. So the, the dongle has no intelligence. So if I pair it with one server and I want to work then on a different server, it's you have, I have to repair the the keyboard, and I don't want to do that. So I prefer to to use a cable in those cases. I use a long enough cable that I can be uh, you know comfortable where I am uh, with my keyboard, and I can access my servers because sometimes uh, a lot of times the work I do on the servers downstairs they're done through the network, but they're are times, and it happened recently, that I wanted to change one of my servers to uh, power back on after a power outage. So it, it, I set it to return to same status after the power outage. So if it was on, it will be on again. And if it was off, it will be off again. And to do that, I could not do it on the network. I had to be physically downstairs in front of the computer with my keyboard and with an HDMI display. I have a small HDMI display just for those tasks. And um, I was able to do it. And you know, pairing this thing, it's it's very easy. Um, you just hold uh, whoop. you just hold the Fn key like this. So you have to hold the Fn key and then one of Q, W, or E. And if I, I, I'm not going to do it now, but if I were to do a Fn Q, it would pair with the Chromebook, which I'm using right now to record this thing and not particularly useful, but it would pair with the Chromebook if I do, did a uh, FNQ. And for me, I've seen reviews where folks co were complaining about pairing and that, oh, the pairing doesn't work and there's problems for this one, problem for that. I've used this keyboard. I've, I've given you the list of devices I've used it with and the wireless device, Chromebook, my work laptop, my phone, my Google TV. It paired with all those devices fairly easily. There's only three slots for it to remember what devices it paired with before. So if you want to use a Ford device, you're going to have to um, kind of make it forget the old slot and then re repair it with a new device. But some people, excuse me, some people were complaining about um, not being able to pair or the connection dropping. I've not had that problem at all. Um, so for, for me, this is a success. This keyboard, uh, I mean, you know, I, I, I almost 
Well, I don't wish I had bought it instead of I have a wired keyboard also in, in my office. The, whoops, this keyboard, which is bigger, and it's fine um, because we're in the office and I have a space for it just for a keyboard. Um, but I, you know, some sometimes I, I think, well, maybe I, I should use the wireless keyboard just to save a little bit more space um, because it, it it works pretty well. I don't have any complaints uh, to make uh, against it, and uh, you know, so far it seems it seems ro robust, and I've been able to charge it. So you can use it in wireless or wired mode, and there's it can also be used. I use it in Windows mode. I think you can use it in Mac mode. I, I haven't used the the Mac mode at all because I don't have a Mac um, and I've replaced the keys to have, be PC keys and not Mac keys. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm happy with the, this purchase. Um, and if you know me, you know that I am fairly uh, critical <laughs> of the things I buy. Um, so yeah, I would recommend the Keychron K6 Bluetooth 5.1 wireless mechanical keyboard. If you want to have something wireless, they also, the same company, is still, and the company is Keychron. I don't remember if Keychron is a company or the model, but you have multiple Keychrons uh, keyboards and they make other models. And there's some models, I think there might be a model that is even smaller than the one I have. They might have bigger model, they, they do have bigger models. And I think some of them are, they have to be wired um, so they have multiple models, um, and I, you know, if I were to buy another keyboard, I would def the Keychron would be the first place I would go look to see uh, if they have something um, that would be nice for me. My regular, my my the keyboard I use on my on my desk is a, is a Ducky, and it's it's nice, um, though sometimes there are problem. Uh, Protocol problems between the, the laptop and the keyboard, and both the Chromebook and my laptop. Sometimes they drop the, the keyboard doesn't register at first. I have to plug it and unplug it, and that's annoying. Uh, I've not experienced anything like that with the uh, the Keychron. So that's the first place I would look for if I were to buy another keyboard for some reason. So uh, you can leave comments. Uh, you can thumb up. You can thumb down, um, and you can subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. Um, and so I'll see you later.